Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Dracula X Chronicles. Stage 6. We're heading into the end game now. There's no more diverging paths from this point on. No more crazy rewind shenanigans. And, yeah, stage 6 is not a stage. <laughs> Actually, stage 6 is a boss rush level. So it's kind of similar to... Uh, is it stage B, I think? Yeah, because A is the clock tower, and then B is the final stage in Castlevania 4. Where at the end of it, you fight just a bunch of bosses in a row. You fight Slagra, then Gaibon, then Death, all in a row. We're gonna come down to this secret wall, get the uh, book here. You can get any of Maria's sub-weapons in this room except for the egg. And we finally caught up with Shaft, the Dark Priest. He's throwing magic around. He's <laughs> he's the bad man. All right. Why is Shaft wearing a cloak on his uh, polygon model, but he's wearing like a pope hat in his character artwork? This inconsistency will now keep you up at nights for all the rest of time. So big old boss rush. Here we go. And the boss rush, because it's kind of Castlevania tradition, is all of the CV1 bosses that we haven't fought yet. Now, we've already taken care of Death, and we will take care of Dracula, which we leaves four Castlevania 1 bosses. First of which being the Darkwing Bat. And we're going to wait for him to come down in drill mode here. And get him with a Guardian Fist. That's the plan. You can also sing at him. The main thing is to kill that purple flame when he comes out with it. Is really the main thing you want to do. And if you miss the Guardian Fist, just whatever, spam doves. Not a tough boss, but it's an endurance match. There's a lot of bosses to fight. I don't find sub-weapons really... to be very useful in this level against the Castlevania 1 bosses. Uh, here's our Nippolis Medusa, once again. And she's really easy to Guardian Fist. She's got that laser attack, but... I think Maria is too short. Like, she can't actually hit Maria with that laser. It just goes right over her head. Which is hysterical. But it makes my life super easy. So Medusa was, of course, the boss of level 2 in Castlevania 1. If you don't believe me, go back and watch my Let's Play. And here's the Mummy Man. Instead of fighting two Mummy Men, though, uh, like you do in Castlevania 1, you just fight one Mummy Man. You know, we're just going to sing at him, I think. And then he throws hieroglyphic blo blocks at you? What? That's weird. I didn't get him with any Guardian Fists. I better not get crushed here. Uh, okay, okay, that's actually tricky because if you're jumping forward to get over that block, as he's throwing... I mean, I know that they're mummy wrappers, but I keep calling them uh, maggots. They look more like maggots to me. Because I'm, I'm thinking D&D &D terms, like the mummies use their mummy rot, they hit you with maggots. But yeah, if you're jumping forward over the block when he's doing that mummy wrapping attack, you will very likely get hit by it. So here's Nigel. You guys remember Nigel? We're not going to let him grab us. When he jumps, we can throw the Guardian Fist out. I mean, you could if you're good and not terrible like I am. You could throw the Guardian Fist out. That's the only time that I'll risk throwing it out in this fight because that gives this grab attack that comes out super quickly. And it's pretty much right at the range where if you're at optimal Guardian Fist range, he'll just grab you out of the air and strangle you to death. And then we fight the Shaft Man himself. Strong indeed. Who's Very not dead well, yet, because we haven't killed him yet. Remember in Symphony of the Night, you basically just fight his ghost, he's like an undead zombie priest? In this game, he's actually alive. We get to learn how he died. And we really want to Guardian Fist him as much as possible. This is not a boss you want to play around with too much. Okay, okay. We're getting burned here. 
Hitter that. Get to the side of it! There we go. Okay, we're good. That third lightning bolt always, always trips me up. Because you got to stand in between them for the first two, but then if you're standing in between them for that third strike, they'll start striking, and then they'll track your position. They'll, tr they'll, they'll try to switch positions, so both lightning bolts will meet you in the middle. And that's the boss rush level, guys. You know what? We deserve a roll finish. There you go. Somersault finish. There's no clock tower level in this game? How is there no clock tower level in this game? Come on. Shoutouts to RuneFox for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.